hit that like button. Y'all don't have to hit the like button. But, but make sure you hit that sub button to say subscribe and click that notification bell for all for always to be in the video. But further ado, man, make sure y'all hit that sub button, man. Help me out, man. Reaching my goal, 10K. Like I said, I'm putting a lot of grind. So it don't even work. Further ado, man, let's get right to the video. Finally, Brax has come back for some more. Eminem, Dr. J. Kendrick, 50 Cent. Snoop Dogg, and who else was on here? Mary J. Blige, and I think that's it. These these guys won a an Emmy Award. I never heard of that. You know, so crazy. I I want I want to be real with y'all. All right. I, I'm not biased, alright? I know some of y'all is a huge, like I said, an Eminem stand, bro. I understand. But, let's not forget Kendrick made a return in five and six years. Like, no disrespect to my favorite rapper. You know, he, he had to go last. He got to do his last. But, y'all know who went after, I mean, before, it, before, and, uh, be, be, you know, Kendrick performed, then it was M, but the reason why I think they won this award, because of M and Kendrick, I'm being real, I'm being real, bro, uh, hey, I'm being real, that's how it was, because if y'all think about it, M never performed. M is one of the biggest artists in hip hop. Kendrick is too. He got a good ass fan base. Not not bigger than M. But Kendrick just made a return in five years, and everybody been talking about. Man, I can't wait for Kendrick. 2017. Five or five to six years. M had never performed. Kendrick never performed. Snoop, I ain't know. Snoop probably performed probably twice. And Dr. Dre, Mary J. Bly, one of my favorite R&B singers. But let's not forget, all right, everybody is talking about M1A. M got to share that word with Kendrick, and he would know it. Let's get it. Hey, what's up? I'm Ada from DX Daily Podcast, and check this out. So Dr. Dre, Eminem, Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige, Kendrick Lamar, and special guest 50 Cent have won two Creative Arts Emmys for their Pepsi Super Bowl halftime show. According to a tweet from the Television Academy, hold on, the hold six- on, Hold on, hold on, What well, well, my boy Eminem was walking with? Who, who he was walking? He was walking with Kendrick, right? Oh, according to- Hold up, who he was walking with? Cent have won two Creative Arts or was it Dr. Emmys Dre? for their Pepsi Super Bowl halftime show. See, look at this, bro. Elm and Kendra is walking right next to each other, bro. Share that war, please. Please, y'all gotta share it, bro. I understand, no, and y'all always know, y'all, you know, Eminem did what he did, bro. He's my favorite rapper. But, look, you got Dr. Dre, you got Mary J, you got Snoop Dogg, and one of the greatest motherfuckers who write they lyrics? It's Kendrick right here and M. Don't act like that, y'all. Please don't act like that, man. I love M, bro. I'm telling you, M is my favorite rapper, but I'm going to give people their flowers. Kendrick, Kendrick is right there with M, bro. So, hey, man. So, according to a tweet from, all on Twitter talk about Eminem. from the Television Academy, the six hip-hop and R&B heavyweights took home the Gilded Trophy in both the Outstanding Variety Special and Outstanding Production Design for a Variety Special categories for the West Coast-themed event that went down in February. The highly anticipated Super Bowl Pepsi halftime show took place on February 13th as Los Angeles ran- Ain't no so crazy. You will be a stupid if you think Eminem is not going to perform by Matt Stafford was our own- you you heard his lyrics? I think uh what was the song he said? No, it wasn't the song, it was the energy before the Super Bowl. 
He said, I don't remember my lyrics. Uh, hopefully, I don't fuck it up because y'all y'all know how that is going to be. They're going to put you on me. You would be crazy, and it would make sense. Matt Stafford was in Detroit Lions. Before, y'all already know, before this trade, this man literally won a Super Bowl in his first time in the Rams, bro. So it would make perfect sense that Eminem was going to perform and why why our former quarterback in Detroit Lions was Matt Stafford. So why not perform? And, and, and he won. And I'm happy for Matt. But, like, bro, Matt would just need a better squad, bro. And he had a better squad. Again, that went down in February. The highly anticipated Super Bowl Pepsi halftime show took place on February 13th as Los Angeles Rams took on the Cincinnati Bengals. And the Rams defeating the Bengals was among the many wins for Los Angeles that night. Curate Hawk and Dre's California Love and 50 Cent's In the Club to Eminem's Lose Yourself. Yeah. Yeah, 50 Cent, bro. Like, bro, y'all y'all sleeping on... he 50 Cent is a GOAT, bro. All these guys is a GOAT. But like I said, I know they all... They all share a war, but I go on Twitter. I mean, I, I, I understand, you know what I'm saying? Y'all you know, shouting out M. Like, man, M is the GOAT. Like, yeah, M is the GOAT. But y'all gotta share that with M and Kendrick, too. Everybody got that award. Biggest hits. From Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg's The Next Episode, Tupac and Dre's California Love, and 50 Cent's In The Club, to Eminem's Lose Yourself, Mary J. Blige's Family Affair, and Kendrick Lamar's Mad City, the explosive set had people busting out their Nike Cortezes and bandanas like it was 1992. Statistics showed the hip-hop themed halftime extra- And look at this, bro. Look at this picture right here. Eminem and Kendrick. Again, next to each other. And, and, and M said, bro, after this, he was nervous. And you know what's so crazy? After they performed this, that's when Kendra dropped an album. And then Eminem tweet on Twitter. He said, yo, Dr. Dre, this Kendra album is fucking insane. He know it, bro. He M know it, bro. I'm telling you, bro. That, bro. Oh, y'all gotta share that, bro. Mad City, the explosive set had people busting out their Nike Cortezes and bandanas like it was 1992. Statistics showed the hip hop themed halftime extravaganza drew in over 103 million viewers. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Alright? To tell you the truth, the reason why this Super Bowl was big, because of these two. Alright? A lot, I mean, I mean, no little respect to Snoop Dogg, maybe Snoop Dogg, 50, maybe Mary J. A lot of people sleeping on Mary J. Because people, people really don't care for Mary. Maybe 50, because 50 got this show that everybody loves. Everybody loves Snoop Dogg. People, you know, people ain't really rocking with Dr. Dre. But it's these two guys right here, for real, for real, make the Super Bowl got a million. Kendra haven't been, Kendra haven't been showed. In five years. This is M first time ever perform a Super Bowl. Cause I don't know when the last time we're gonna have a tour. M need to get on tour, bro. Like, like, bro, y'all be selling out tick bro. If he say, man, I'm on tour right now with the music be murdered by kamikaze. You know how many times that shit would sell out? Statistics showed the hip hop themed halftime extravaganza drew okay. in over 103 million viewers. It's also nominated for five primetime Emmys. The ceremony is scheduled for September 12th. Moving from performing on the field to playing on it, Eminem has expressed an interest in playing in the NFL, telling his beloved Detroit Lions that he'd happily. Yes, be a quarterback, M. We need you. Bad, bro. Sign as the quarterback. Or be a uh a offensive or ordinator, whatever this shit called. We need you, bro. And I ain't gonna lie. No homo, bro. You look good with the black and blue with the Detroit Lions. Bro, you look like a real coach, man. We need you. And it's crazy. Matt Staff, you left us, went to the Rams, and won the Super Bowl. I'm so mad when Calvin Johnson retired, bro, and we and we still haven't won the Super Bowl with Calvin. From performing on the field to playing. Just like Calvin Johnson and Ella Iverson, bro. 
That guy is too good to not get a, a ring in the Super Bowl. Playing on it, Eminem has expressed an interest in playing in the NFL, telling his beloved Detroit Lions that he'd happily trade in his microphone for a pair of cleats. The legendary rapper stopped by his hometown team's yes, training I, camp during the taping of the season finale of HBO's Hard Knocks, which has shined a spotlight on the team's second year under head coach Dan Campbell. On Thursday, September 1st, bro, the Lions shared a clip hat, of M's bro. visit on Twitter, which sees him tell the team that he would love the opportunity for a spot on the roster. I said I'm going to lace up whenever, like, I'll go to every game, I'll stand on the sideline, and if, if you guys need to put me in, put me in, because I, any position, I'm good. Okay. Bro, I just realized Eminem got an accent, bro. I don't know, is that that Missouri accent? Because if y'all know, if you a real Eminem, you should know. He 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 born in Can uh was it St. Louis? It's St. Louis or Kansas, Missouri, but he actually grew up in Detroit. But he actually born in Missouri. Whenever he got a he got a Missouri accent. Like I'll go to every game, I'll stand on the sideline, and if if you guys need to put me in, put me in, because I any position I'm good. Actually, any position I'm great. I meant to say. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX. Hey, man. Like I said, man. Shout out to Hip Hop DX, man. Um, I'm just reacting to this. Uh, like I said, like, like I said, man. Uh, Eminem is, is one of the greatest artists, bro. And like I said, if now, and now if let, let's say this. If Kendrick was out of the picture... Then it would just be Eminem, bro. Because ain't nobody really care, bro. Everybody in the world knows who Eminem is. And everybody loves Eminem, bro. Now, you got some haters who don't like Eminem. But the reason why this Super Bowl was so big because of M and Kendrick. Because M, you would never see M perform a, 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 or a bigger stage like this. That's not his thing like that, bro. And I know he was nervous. And Kendrick haven't been doing, bro, he haven't, bro, we haven't seen Kendrick in five years. We don't even know what Kendrick looks like. So, to tell you the truth, it's M and Kendrick, bro. They they the reason why they won this, this Emmy Award, bro. And, um, yeah, bro, to tell you the truth. Other than that, man, hey, man, that's it for that reaction. Like I said, man, one of the GOATs did it again. M is gonna keep breaking he gonna keep breaking records, bro. Cause like I said, nobody gonna be bro, nobody gonna be like Eminem. We won't have no Eminem. Nobody gonna be like Eminem. We want bro. If you if y'all wanna go by colors, bro, ain't no white boy is gonna beat Eminem, bro. I don't care what it is, bro. He's the coldest white boy, but he really mixed because he grew up in the black. But other than that man, it's your boy Brax man. Hey man, I just wanna check this out, man. Eminem, Kendrick, we out.